In this video, we're going to read, write, order and compare common fractions and mixed numbers. So we've got half, a quarter, five sixths, twelve sevenths, one and four fifths, two and five eighths. So I've written them and I'm reading them as well. So this should help you with the reading of the fraction. So did you notice five sixths? So G H S at the end, not just six, five sixths, twelve sevenths, one and four fifths, two and five eighths. So also there is a difference with these two at the end. We've got one and four fifths. So that means a whole one, maybe a whole pizza and four fifths of a pizza two pounds and five eighths of a pound so that shows in front how many whole parts we've got how many whole uh, measurements how many whole uh, shapes we have so this is why we call them mixed numbers because we've got whole numbers and fractions now we're going to try and compare and order them so in order for them to be compared they need to look similar to each other what do i mean by that so at the moment we've got half and three quarters now we know how these look like and it's easy to compare them i know that three quarters is bigger than half because of what they mean so this is a half and this is three quarters so i know that and at this level we're supposed to know that but i would find it more difficult to compare these to this for example what does that mean so or, or the 12 sevens or the one and four fifths or the two and five eighths so what can we do now what i'm going to do is illustrate what I'm going to change through these two fractions so that is one half as we said and we could show it like this and this was the three quarters so there we go we've got the three quarters I want to show this half in a similar way into quarters I'm going to cut it into quarters and pick just two of them because that is what a half is so i've got now two quarters and i've got three quarters so which one is bigger of course three quarters is bigger than two quarters so we're comparing like for like and we've got numbers at the top that we've got to compare now so what we call this is making the denominators the same so down, the number that is down here, denominator. The numbers that are at the top or north, numerator. So that's the way to remember them. So I'll write the words here. Denominator, down. And north, up or north, easy to remember, because they begin with the same letter, numerator. So here is the numerator, if you want to remember these. Now, I'll try and compare some other fractions. So I'm going to try and compare these two together. Now, the way that they look at the moment is slightly different than these two so we have five six if you look at this five six we've got a smaller number at the top so what this means is that we haven't got a hole yet so if i represent this this is going to be cut into six parts and i'm taking four or five of them so there is a slice left. 
one sixth is left. Whereas when it comes to this, 12 sevenths, this is the number at the top is bigger than the number at the bottom. So it means that I've got more than a whole. So if I show seven sevenths first, so I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this should have seven equal parts and I'm taking the, all, the whole of it. And in addition, I've got five sevens on top. So seven sevens and five as well. So one, two, three, four, five. So this whole thing and five out of the seven. So just by looking at these two, actually, just by looking at the numbers, this has got to be bigger than five sixths. So I don't need to work it out like I did with the half and three quarters. But I can see also that the mixed number next to it makes a whole and part of the whole. So I'm going to try and represent this, first of all, and then I'll compare them using the numbers. So I will go right. So we've got one whole and four fifths. Now, if you look at them, they look pretty similar. So I need to be sure that I know exactly which one is the biggest. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and make this into a fraction. So it's going to look something like this. So I've got a whole. So that's split into five. And I'm taking all five of them. So I've got five fifths here. And on top, I've got four fifths as well. So adding these two together means that I've got now nine fifths. So nine fifths is the same as one and four fifths. I need to compare it to 12 sevenths. So 12 sevenths. And nine fifths I need to compare them which one is bigger and which one is smaller so in order to do that I'm going to try and make the denominator the same just like I did with them too so this is going to be something that seven can go into so a number that seven can go into without remainder and five can go into as well so it could be 35 i'm going to try 35 because seven times five is 35 so it, that's easy to find and another 35 so i'm going to try and make this now with a denominator of 35 so it is seven at the moment to make it 35 I am multiplying by 5. So I need to do the same to the 12. So multiplying it by 5. 12 times 5. 10 times 5 is 50. And 2 times 5 is 10. So that is 60. So 12 sevenths is the same as 60 35ths. So now I need to do something similar to the nine fifths. So from five to go into 35, we're multiplying by seven. So I need to do the same to the nine. So nine times seven is 63. So what we're comparing now is very clear. We've got 60 35ths and we've got 63 35ths. So which one is bigger? This is definitely bigger, the 63 35ths. And so I can say the same for these two then, that 9 fifths is bigger than 
12 sevenths. And if I compare now 2 and 5 eighths with any of these numbers, that's got to be the biggest one. Why? Because we're talking about two whole pizzas in this case, or two whole meters, whatever you're working out. So that is two whole ones, and none of these had two whole ones. Look at that, there was a whole one and four fifths, and there was a whole one and four, um, no, it was a whole one and five sevenths. So none of these had two whole ones, so this got to be the biggest one. So if I go and check the order now, if I try and put them in order, one half was much smaller than three quarters, so that was the smallest fraction out of them all. And then three quarters came next, and because we compared five six with three quarters, and five six was bigger than three quarters, so that must come next, and then we compared twelve sevenths with five six as well so 12 sevens was much bigger because it means a whole one as well as a fraction and when you compare them two as well one and four fifths which was nine fifths was bigger than 12 sevens so that must come next and finally two and five eighths because it's the biggest fraction of them all so We've got them in order.